Okay, so I have now gone through and uh, finished retargeting the mouth section. And as we can see here for the mouth frames that I've uh, worked with, I have quite a few. There are, in fact, 21 of them. Um, some of them are a little bit more minor than others. And you can see that I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten auto poses uh, plus a neutral frame. So that's that would be eleven. And so there's basically ten auto poses and ten custom poses that I've also defined when I figured that the auto poses were not doing enough on their own. So let's just quickly go through and just take a look at the different poses that I ended up creating. Um, so starting here, we have the lips kind of being pulled in and sort of tightly bound. Uh, this one is, you know, trying to cover up the teeth here a little bit. Um, I might even want that to pull down a little bit more here. Ah, but I see what's happening. The teeth. Um, actually, you know what? I probably should just trust my instinct here because as you can see, the tongue is covering up the teeth right here. So, um, I should trust my instinct there. I'll probably retarget that again. Um, these are the things that you figure out as you're looking. And then uh, 98, we have this little shape here, 114. Again, you know, so what's the difference between this and 12? Well, um, it's a little bit of a different location on the mouth. But actually, I can see here too, if I sort of look at this, and this is now just because I'm doing some comparisons, that the jaw at 114 is actually meant to be a bit lower. And it is, as you can see here, but the mouth hasn't moved down enough. So if I compare this here, I might just um, I'm gonna put my finger on the screen to match with the location of this dot. And yeah, so that dot's moved up just a little bit there and over. So what I'm gonna do here at 114 actually is probably take my, uh, my main controls for the mouth overall, the location controls, and just move it down a little bit. That feels a bit better. Okay, so now sometimes just as I'm doing this final comparison here, I can see what is and is not working. I'm looking for consistency, basically. Here uh, at 165, I think I'd like to get a little bit more of a straight line at the top there, and that's probably would be helped by bringing that up there a little bit more. Maybe this edge up a little bit more as well. And um, by doing that, then I can probably get by by pulling this down a little bit, maybe pulling some of these down a little bit more on the corners. All right. So just little adjustments that I can, I can factor in here to make things work a little bit better. I think that looks somewhat more like what we have there. Uh, 279. Okay. No, I just want to repeat that um, a lot of this corner edge pull, so basically the sticky lips is coming in from the zip control that I found here. So that's been very, very helpful to try to get the lips doing what they need to do. So adding in the zip control there quite to a large value. Um, might even try rolling this down ever so slightly more, just so that, I'm trying to see here with that lip, maybe I need to pull the lip down instead. Yeah, trying to, try to see where the lower part of that tooth is. So right about there, that's probably good, something like that. Okay, um, 365, I think that looks pretty good overall. And 401, sort of an like an F shape, but the corners here should be pulled down a lot more than what they are. So that's, you can see those corner edges there, they need to come down. Um, so I'll pull that down there. Not sure why that was missed. And maybe even pulling down the actual corner sides a little bit. That looks a bit better there. I just want to pull up, uh, if not that part there, then maybe pull up this control here. Just a little bit there. That's a bit better. All right. Uh, 581. Okay. So you can see that there's some you know asymmetry going on here that I'm trying to replicate uh, in this pose. So that's looking pretty good. I might even decide to pull this 
side in a little bit more to cover up some of those teeth back there. This side over here looks pretty good as it is, but maybe just a slight bit more. It's a quite an open shape. So it's a good idea that, you know, squash and stretch, if we're stretching in this direction, we're going to be squashing in this direction. So maybe pull it in there. We're not worrying about the tongue right now. We're going to add the tongue in um, as a uh, something that we control keyframe animation. Okay, so that looks pretty good there at 621. 1014, we have a bit of a squinch up. Again, it's a little bit different to what we see here. So this is a this is more of a subtle pose adjustment. Um, I might even decide to hold down those corner edges just a little bit more. Slightly. Okay. Um, 1150. I'm curious here if I added in a little bit of zip. What's that going to look like? Might be okay if I do that. All right. Maybe also pull over here a little bit more there. All right. Um, 1173. Okay. Put that shape going on there. I think I'll also pull this corner edge down. 1392. Um, definitely can pull zip in a lot stronger here, I think. So, yeah, I feel like this is a shape I made without having zip available to me originally. So let's just go in and modify this one a little bit. This side definitely feels up like it's up quite a bit higher than the other side. So let's pull that down slightly. And then after having done that, um, I'm just going to need to make a few adjustments here. So let me make these adjustments here, I wonder. There we go. Oh, that doesn't really help, does it? Um, let's turn the visibility off there. Let's go grab this guy here and sort of try to pull that up a little bit there. Now, these really aren't meant to be quite so high because they're barely covering up the teeth. So maybe just pull this down there a little bit more. Same thing on this side. Um, does that come over there a little bit more? It's going to save while I'm doing this so I don't lose anything accidentally. Pull that there. Um, there is a shape in here, by the way, that I found. Let's see if I can locate it again. Uh, I think it's on this control here. It's called this U shape. And it kind of does this motion here. I'm not sure if this is what I want. It might be. Maybe I want to actually use that here. This would be the first time that I've used this control. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial in the U shape here. Let's just see what happens when I do that. It's going to be very minor. So maybe 0.1 or 0.2. But that might be able to give me enough shape difference there to actually make this work properly. Okay, I might have to reduce the zip there a little bit. Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's okay where it is. All right, but I'm gonna pull down that edge there a bit. down the whole mouth section there a little bit something like that and then these guys here can't really see the teeth I think that the lower lip is really covering them up quite a bit should be a bit straighter there and let's go in and find in fact actually we probably can open the jaw a little bit more though we just have to cover up the teeth there a little bit so this is a bit more of a complex fix it's okay, it's worth talking about because um, undoubtedly you would encounter a shape like this somewhere. It's pretty good. Now her corner lips look really ballooned. Okay, so that's probably a bit more than we necessarily need. 
either it's the U shape that's causing this. Let's just see what happens since the U shape is our one outlier here. Let's see what happens when I get rid of it. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm a little bit worried about using it just because we haven't used it before at all. So I might just take that off. Um, but I think the zip here might need to be played around with a little bit. Maybe it's okay. Just feels like she's got a lot of Botox going on at the moment. So. I guess we'll go with that and see how that how that goes for us. All right, save. 1392 and uh, 1406 is looking pretty good. Um, now comparing, I'm comparing the distance on the on the sides of the lips there. The 1406 is tucked in a little bit more, but it's um, perhaps it could come out just slightly here. It doesn't have to be so far tucked in. Fourteen, fourteen. Like fourteen, fourteen. It should be actually tucked in more. And if you notice, you're comparing fourteen oh six to fourteen fourteen here. The height of this dot right here um, should be pretty much exactly the same height here. But if we look at what's going on here, there's actually a big shift. Um, this is a lot lower here. So that tells me that either that's too high or that is too low. I think that this one here is just too low. So we're going to take these guys up a little bit. Just so that we have some more consistency there. Still a bit low there which means that all of these guys might need to be shifted up slightly. This whole thing might be rotated a little bit. Yeah, so I think that's a little bit better there. Okay. So still a little bit low there, but I'll, I'm probably okay with it now. And just following through here. that off to the side there a little bit more and 1537 okay yes 1549 a little bit of a I think we can um, we don't need to have these pull in quite so much there I might actually need a little bit more zip on the edges so let's just go and find our zip control here zip zip and here all right, um, and I think that will be good. That should be all of them, great. So I'm just gonna save that, save that real quick. I'm gonna pause the recording here while I retarget. Okay, so now we should have, um, hopefully, all of those working the ways that we expect them to. Um, and if we were to watch through our animation now, we're gonna try to compare it to uh, what we see over here on the mouth. Um, and it's going to do kind of a slow scrub here. What we're going to find is that it does a pretty good job, but it's not perfect. And there's going to be jitter, there's going to be all kinds of things that are a little bit off, like some of the timing, some of the actual locations of things. But so long as it gets it pretty well, um, then that's what we care about. Because we're going to have to do a lot of cleanup ourselves. This is not, you know, once we retarget, we're not done. Uh, that's a really important thing to, re to remember. Retargeting is just one step in the process, okay? And it's certainly not the final step. So as we're watching through this, I'm not really seeing anything that's sticking out to me that really seems to indicate that there's a big problem. Even in certain cases where I, I might wanna tuck the lip up a little bit more here, I can do that relatively easy um, later on by adjusting the animation in like the graph editor. So if I just pull here, Kind of looking at about 400 frames at a time. Um, just doing a final pass of comparison just to see what um, 
you know, if there is anything else that still needs to be added in as a frame, and I don't think that there will be, you know, because at this stage with this many frames defined, it has done a pretty good job of getting the full range of the face. Now, obviously here what's going on with this section, like I've said many times, I'm just gonna have to go through and take care of it myself later on. It's really not that messed up, to be honest. Um, and, you know, something like this right here, as I'm looking at this um, particular shot, I might be saying to myself, all right, I really wanna pull this up, you know, the lip up here above the teeth. Maybe I wanna pull the jaw a little bit farther down. But I don't think that this warrants me having to go through and creating another frame in there to further confuse the data. I think at this stage here, this is something that would be relatively easy for me to just fix um, by editing the animation as it is. Okay, and then I'm just gonna continue on doing this until we get to the end. You know, there's a little bit of jitter in there and whatnot, and that's the more of this stuff that we, the more frames we start to add in, the more likely we are to introduce jitter. And so I am conscious of that. Jitter is something that we can remove, um, but you know, we try to minimize it as much as possible. Try to not confuse the data as much as possible. Okay, so that looks pretty good so far. And then finally here, going right to the end, 1592. The jaw, see how that jaw is lagging right there? The teeth are not in the same spot. That's okay at this stage because it's just something that will fix the timing later on with the, with the animation cleanup. Things will also start to look a lot better too once we start adding in uh, the tongue animation. A little bit of a floatiness happening right there with the lips again, it's just something that I'll fix with the animation. And yeah, I think overall it looks like we're, this is where I would stop if I were if I were doing this um, with the mouth section, I would stop here and just say, hey, good enough at this stage. The only thing that I haven't added in now um, is the cheeks, all right? So the cheeks, if we take a look at the full face, um, I'd given them their own face group, and I'm going to go through now and um, in the next video and to try to create some of those frames for it. Um, I am not sure whether or not I'm gonna still keep the cheeks on their own face group or if I'm gonna start to add them into the mouth group instead. Tis a possibility that I might do that. Um, and uh, well, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And all right, I will, um, I'll stop the video here and I will see you in the next one.